up guys he king here bringing you well a trailer reaction what's up loki say hi no no hi always shy always shy Mwah. cute little devil always hiding in my little cool spaces anyway how's that how's that for a furry introduction <laughs> okay um yeah trailer reaction to elder ring people elder ring is finally here. Well, the trailer reveal is, along with the release date, apparently, which is crazy. Um, I've been, I wouldn't say I've been hyped for this game, you know, that uh, there's not a lot of games I was necessarily hyped for. I think Resident Evil Village was the last game I was hyped for, and whatever's coming out from Capcom after that regarding Resident Evil. Um, I think Death Stranding Director's Cut was announced today as well, which is like... There's been a rumor going on for a while now that there's going to be an extended edition or something. So that's like, oh my god! By the same, it's like, really? Why did, did it need? Did it need? Did it need one? I'm curious about what it's going to have. But Elder Ring, Elder Ring is definitely a game I've been semi interested in. I'm curious about it because I loved, I did love Bloodborne. Bloodborne was great. I've only played it once, but you know the memory sticks in your head. It's such a good unexpected kind of game, do you know what I mean? And Sekiro was cool as well. I've only played a bit of Dark Souls 1. I do need to get back into it, but there are so many games in my category list that I'm trying to get through before I go back to that. But yeah, I do I do intend or my my I I, I intend or plan to or want to complete those games first before I before I play this, I think when it comes out. But yeah, let's give the let's give the trailer a, a go. You wanna go out buddy? Loki? I think I'll let him out after I see the trailer. Yusuf, okay, fine. I'll let him out now, okay? Just to make you guys feel better. Yeah. Two minutes wasted taking care of the cat. <laughs> Talking nonsense. Okay, so uh, yeah, Elden Ring uh, reveal trailer. Uh, where is it? Where is the trailer? Where is the trailer? Okay, there's the trailer. Is the camera positioned? Good. You can see me. You can hear me. Excellent. So I guess uh, nothing better to do than uh, watch this. Three minutes long as well. Cool. And here we go. From Software and Bandy Namcon Entertainment present a new world created by Hitaka Miyazaki and George. Oh, I forgot what George R. Martin is part of this. Oh, oh, this oh look, the world tree. So, so those rumors were legit. Those rumors were legit. The the world trees in this. Okay. Look at this. I'm getting Castlevania Lords of Shadow vibes from the character here. Weird. Is he riding a ball? That thing had horns on it. Oh. Oh, look at that. What is that? S Combat on a horse confirmed. Yeah. This looks cool, man. That boss looks weird, though. They will fight, and they will die. Whoa! In an unending curse. Oh, are you a werewolf? What is going on there? Well, is that an enemy that you fight? What's going on there, dude? I like dragons, as always. And it's got four wings. That's crazy. The hell is that? That's freaky. This looks cool, man. I, I like the design, the gothicness of it. It's always cool.
Some of the bosses are over the top, though. It's coming for PS4 as well. 2022. Oh, next year. Oh, January 21st. Wow. Well. Well, 2022, January 21st, I believe. I'm, I'm assuming. Yeah, yeah. Because there's, there's, there's only 12 months. There's only, we only have 12 months. We don't have 21 months. <laughs> so, yeah, January 21st of 2022. So, yeah, um, straight up next year. And it's going to be for PS4. I'm assuming there's going to be a Game of the Year edition for this, maybe. I mean, Sekiro didn't get one. Bloodborne did. And I have never played the uh, Game of the Year edition content for the Bloodborne game. So, you know, cause it, it was a hard game, guys. And I did get kind of tired of it. So I just sort of, like, stopped playing off of that. But um, I do need to get back into it. But uh, yeah, that trailer was uh, that trailer was excellent. Uh, I'm pretty sure there was, like, stuff that was released ex talking about the game and in detail. Like, like I want to find that. Here we go. Uh, Elder Ring, dynamic weather, and seven other details we learned. Okay, let's let's read for this because I'm curious what the details are for this game. Uh, this is FromSoft's biggest game, so according to the fact, uh, fact sheet, Elder Ring is set to be the largest game to date. While FromSoft Soulsborne games have always had a sense of scale to them, the trailer for Elden Ring looked to take things to a whole new level. The player character has to traverse his land by horseback and get around, which is a first for any Souls type. Yeah, it is a first, actually. I mean, just from having played a bit of Dark Souls and obviously Bloodborne and, and Sekiro, yeah, it, you, you never had to ride horses. You never had to gab around. This definitely has, like, sort of a Shadow of the Colossus feel for it, too, in terms of uh, what I'm assuming looking for the bosses and fighting them, and then and the fact that you, you fight giant bosses, like, what the Oh, like, okay. Um, the world is also seamless. One of the hallmarks of the FromSoft's world design is making it so that everything feels interconnected. Dungeons at the start of the game maze around and seamlessly connect with an end-level dungeon. Elder Ring will do this as well with shadowy complex dungeons that are connected seamlessly. Uh, that means keep an eye out for out for shortcuts as you might be able to traverse the world faster the deeper you go. Um, I didn't realize that. Is that legit? I think it is legit, right? Yeah. Yeah, because like you find hidden pathways in in the other games, and suddenly you're like, oh my god, I'm all the way here. I could have just done that and gotten all the way here. Cool. Uh, Elden Ring will have dynamic weather. So yeah, this was in one of the rumor lists that was all the leaks, I believe, that said that there would be dynamic weather. So that's kind of cool. Stuck into a press release, Elden Ring will have a natural weather uh, and time or day progression. While night and day and various moon cycles have featured in Bloodsoft games in the past, they have always been marked by specific encounters. Yeah. Um, in Bloodborne, for example, a changing of the moon cycle was permanent, but in Elder Ring, it appears night and day, and even specific weather conditions can come and go. That's pretty cool. The NPCs can help or hurt you, and there's possibly a sad reason for it. Okay, that's that's a bit weird. What does that mean? Sad reason for it? What's George? Is this is George R. R. Martin's all over, right? What's it? What's going on here? The NPCs in uh, from soft games have rich and deep backstories. They do. I've never. I mean. There, 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 there was there was that one dude uh, in Sekiro, I forgot his name, like the guy that gives you the upgrades, uh, the woodcarver, I think, and he's, he, I guess he had a backstory, like, and then he turns into the demon of hatred, or the flames of hatred. <laughs> um, rich and deep, and a world crafted by director Hitake Miyazaki and George Armand continue this tradition. According to the fact sheet, Elden Ring will have adversaries with profound backgrounds, and characters will have unique motivations by helping or hindering your progress. Uh, as you as from as from soft youtuber Vati uh, says prepare to cry okay whatever that means plain swamps and other environments the fact sheet has shared a couple of different locals and where we encountering blah, blah 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 this includes grassy plains suffocating swamps sprawling mountains forbidding castles and other sites of ground on scale never before seen uh, see this is what I mean this is what I mean when I said this game reminds me of uh, uh, Castlevania Lords of Shadow and I mean the first game by the way that game was excellent back before the PS3 man uh, that was that was good. that was the kind of game that had like this very unique variety to it in terms of locations you know you're going to certain places you're traversing these uh, environments these levels like each level is a specific area that you're traversing you know the first beginning stuff you know you're like fighting a werewolves and you're traversing a swamp then you're going through like uh, freaking caves or uh, a, cave, a snowy cave or a frozen leg fighting bosses then you're going to the castle or you're traversing all the areas in the castle from top to bottom and then obviously going into different it, 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 that was the kind of game i enjoyed because it felt like you were on this big massive journey going through all of these different areas it had that sort of journalistic am i even saying is that even a word journalistic journalistic style that sort of Lord of the Rings had like you know when you look at Lord of the Rings and you're on this journey to destroy the one ring and characters are going to all these various places and that was fun I love that so the fact that Elden Ring has got that kind of 
element to it that's pretty freaking cool like it, it makes the world feel very big and it makes you feel like you're going through all of this like in real time essentially which is also in my opinion you have to become an elden lord okay that's interesting uh, while plot details are under wraps still a, a brief summary of elden ring shares some key details according to from soft the golden order is broken and it is through the elden ring that the player becomes the it becomes an elden lord in the lands between who knows what any of this means, but again, I swear this feels like Castlevania Lords of Shadow again. You had the freaking order, you know, you're the you're you're one of the top guys. Uh, you sh you know, crazy stuff happens, and then you end up becoming Dracula at the end. So you know, I, I feel like this has got this sort of old thing in there where you're like, you know, you're trying to save the world, and you end up becoming like, it's kind of like Bloodborne as well, I guess, with one of the endings where you can become like one of the uh, ancient ones or the Cthulhu type, the tentacle creatures, basically, when you when you eat all the umbilical cords and you become that. It's great at the end. Or like Sekiro, you know, you get the different ways of paths that you can choose. Like, you know, you either want to sacrifice the Lord or you kill yourself to save him. Or you take the dragon soul or whatever back to where it came from and you start a new journey with a little girl. So that's kind of cool. Uh, yes, you can make your own character. Despite the plot summary, you'll still be able to create your own characters in past games. Characters can be tailored to suit your specific play styles, whether you prefer certain weapons or enjoy these. And of course, weapons. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. It's not like secular where you just play that one guy. Uh, it's again like Souls games on Bloodborne that you can you can create your own character, upgrade your PS4. One, okay, and then upgrade to. This is crazy that this game is coming out for PS4, but then this was this was announced around the time when PS4 was still around, so it makes sense. It makes sense. Um, yeah, Elden Ring. It looks good, and it's gonna be on PS4. So uh, yeah, I'm. <laughs> why do I need a PS5 again, guys? Like, ser no, seriously, why do I need a PS5? Like. I mean, this is going to be out on the freaking PS4 anyway, like. I, I imagine this is going to be, uh, this is going to be one of those games that is going to kill the PS4 console. Like, like, like if, if your console has had issues by at this point and is continuing to have issues, it's probably going to be one of those games that's going to be way too big and powerful that it won't be able to run it properly and then it's just going to crash and burn. <laughs> So, um, I'm expect I'm expect I'm expecting that to happen, especially for my console at this point now. Like it's 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 reached that point in time where it's like yeah, like anything can happen now to it. So I, I hope not, but uh, yeah, it, it most likely will. I mean, yeah, um, yeah, that was cool. It was great reading all of this stuff, and I'm looking forward to this game, guys. I am looking forward to it. Anyway, that was my reaction to it. That was uh, the details that I read for it. As always, guys, like and subscribe. Please do, and I shall see you when I shall see you. Take care.